The next part in the body work is having a relationship with how you shoulder work, right? In order to succeed and shoulder throw. Most of the time, when you shoulder throw, you have to make sure you don't go this way and you don't go this way. You don't bend your body this way, you don't bend your body this way. You have to make sure what you're going to do is this, right? The rotation came for this, go forward like this, and you're going to put the pressure down here, right? You see my arm, go down here, have your shoulder work this way. You see my shoulder going this way, and you're going to go up, down this way. See my hand this way, you go up this way, up here, up here, up and pull, pull, okay? Now, if I leave my partner up, right, I'm going to go down here, right, and leave my partner up, right? Look, I'm in that position, right? When you throw shoulders, you have to make sure the person pass between your head and the shoulder. You cannot pass the person over your head. Even when you, you go forward and you look here, you're going to throw the person this way. Do it again, different angle. Right? Step here, I go in, right? I get up. Remember, I go here, right? Even sometimes you don't need to pull too much if you're doing the movement properly, right? is you're going to throw the person this way, right? Between your head and your shoulder, the person has to pass this way. Not too much, right? Most of the time, mistake that we're doing, we're going to throw the person over the head and over the head. In between your head and your shoulder. I'm going to do three more times, different angle. that you can see it. Right, I go here. Right, I go low, now I'm going to go here, remember, it's between my head and my shoulder, right, I go here, and you throw the person, do it again, pull, right, down, up, right, throw the person, I go in this angle, go step, go down, up, right, and throw the person. That is the way that you have to perform it to finish on the throw.